it's Dante. You may know me as Sorts Running 40. And today I'm going to start a new segment called Sorts Running 40. Reads your comments. I feel like you've been waiting for this, but finally for the first time, I get to read your comments. Reading regular comments. Just reading comments in general and see what I think of them. Give my response. You know something, I won't do these too often because um, I don't get that much comments anyway. But by the time I get a lot of comments, I will do these more often. All right, let's get started, shall we? This needs more views. Well, of course I need more views. If you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed, subscribe right now or after this video. My Pokemon Mystery Dungeon video ritual. I see a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon animation. I like even before watching the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon animation. I watched the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon animation. I fangirl like crazy. You like it's an animation. Who knows, if I have time to make another, you might go crazy for that one too. Should've been one sentence for each Pokemon, to be honest. Good idea. And guess what, I fixed up with the updated Alola voices. I wanted Lorances to have a French accent. I don't really use the sun for firing a beam, but I use it for summoning a blade. There you go, I did that in the updated Lola voices. It's weird since the CGI looks both male and female. Is it male or female? On one hand, I imagine her to have a voice like Fiona Apple, but on the other, I imagine him to have the voice of a guy who voiced Satan in Devil's a Part-Timer. The CGI is both genders. It's mostly male because it's a starter. But Chop should sound like a kid. The reason why I didn't make him sound like a kid because of how he sounds in the anime. And he sounds like a man. Big Night Female sounds like Toad. Does it? I'm totally up for this challenge! Okay, it kinda does. But strangely enough, I got the female Pignite idea from the anime voice, but Ash's Pignite is male. You ruined my childhood. Sorry I made a Pokemon talk to thing, but you wanna know what also may ruin your childhood? The new Pokemon designs we keep getting. RC sounds more cracky voice. Keldeo has a crazy tone in his voice. He is way different. Diane is more deeper voice. And Hoopla is way- <laughs> And Volcanism is way deeper and cracky voice. Wrong, wrong, wrong! Okay, let me break this down. RC sounds more cracky voice, does that mean they smoke crack? Or do you mean voice cracks? <laughs> RC was, to be honest, RC's would sound weird with voice cracks. And who's Diane? Unless you meant Di Diantha, Deontay, Deontay. And sorry, I couldn't make her voice lower at the time. And Hoopa is, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that even means. Do you mean crazy sounding? Also, I don't even remember what my Hoopa voice even sounds like. I might have to check through the video again. And then Volcanion, more deeper and cracky voice. I did the deepest I could back then, and I think it meant voice cracks, and I think those voice cracks weren't even on purpose. Also, I was kind of going for an Optimus Prime for Volcanion a bit, mixed with this anime voice. After all this, my throat would probably explode. Yeah, and that's why I drink a lot of water when doing the Pokemon Talk videos. And I think the Pokemon Talk voice I've done so far that actually made my throat hurt would have to be Aerodactyl. Midnight Lycanroc doesn't hurt my voice all that much, but Aerodactyl is the absolute worst for me. Uh, Aerodactyl for the first two generations. Actually, uh, first three generations, technically. They talk like Sonic OCs. Do you watch Sonic OCs videos then? Or is the Sonic franchise just filled with Sonic OCs now? Who knows, I'm, I used to be a Sonic fan, but now, not so much anymore. Guzzler's voice is pretty accurate for a big giant Godzilla dragon monster with an appetite for destruction. Thanks, that was actually the first and only voices that I came up for Guzzlord. How do they turn into a Pokemon? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, how does a human turn into a Pokemon? A few times they explain how it happened, but I keep forgetting how it happens. To go through the entire story again, and, and I'm probably not gonna get my best answer. Okay, forgive me if I'm saying this Pokemon's name correctly. Neo Lego is a girl. Nope, it's genderless. Genesex talks. Yeah, it does, but not in the games. What the f is a beak doing? Yeah, I had a few beak errors on Sortie's animation. Either that or you're talking about the older animations I did for Sortie that you probably see today on my second channel. Gen Momo reminds me of Shulk. LMAO. How does the first evolution of a dragon type Pokemon remind me of Shulk? Oh, wait. I'm really feeling it now. Okay, I see what you mean. More season two! Yeah, I'm sorry that season two is taking a bit long. It's because I upload a whole lot on my second channel. Maybe I should find time when I upload just one video on my second channel. Then I might get more time to work on my main channel. Why does Pikachu sound like a girl? Spoiler alert, listen to how it sounds in I Choose You. You know, Primarina has 90% chance of being a boy. That's true, actually. But it seems like in the anime, it's mostly been female in a way. And they've done the same with Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium, Snivy, Servine, Superior, Venicane breaks in, and Delphox. I would fight Charizard. My sharp claws will destroy him. Oh look, it's a comment from Scyther. Good luck, Scyther. Make sure you have a good moveset and strategy. Anime kids have people. Hope you are looking for the best friend. And ultrasleep beautiful and kiss like the fact that the two teams in the world are rare too. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying. What's one plus one? Sorry, you came to the wrong channel. This is just your average animation and comment rating channel. Well, one plus one is obviously two, unless you're asking me to trick question or something. Help Pokemon talk! It's for Pokemon League or Pokemon Search. Okay, another comment I don't really understand. Keep up, mother I'm sorry, I read like that because you're one letter off. But that's actually a pretty cool way to censor since I don't have to curse while reading that. Christina puppies for sale and the world where to find out more about the same thing with the... 
Sorry, I really don't know what you're saying. Here's a little advice for you. Use some punctuation next time. It's good. But Lorenz's new Lego Bruxish and Don Wings to Crossman needs to sound more feminine and Celesteel needs to sound more manly. Celesteel is sounding manly? It's based off Princess Kaguya. Why would it sound like a man? Also, Lorenz had a male voice in the anime. I thought my new Lego voice was pretty awesome. And Don Wings to Crossman sounding feminine, I think you were talking about Necrozma itself. But I decided to give him a male voice because I don't know what he's gonna sound like if he speaks through telepathy in the anime. You have an amazing voice range, thank you. Also, kudos for remembering that Gumshoes is based on a horrible detective and not he who shall not be named. Yeah, and for Gumshoes' voice, I sort of based off his voice off of Columbo. Yeah, and Gumshoes is another way of saying detective. I loved immediately Litton's voice dub, and Stoutland's voice dub is just great for the character. Wow, thank you. Cool videos. When did you get the idea to make them? Well, it's actually a long story. I first got the idea of, um, well, I sort of thought of making a YouTube channel around 2008, 10 years ago, surprisingly. But I felt like I wasn't ready to, um, show myself to the audience. So I got myself prepared for the future, the future of starting a YouTube channel. I don't remember the name I started out with, but, um, it had the word figure, like figure eight. I think it was called Figure 8 something. Could have called it Figure 8 Animations or something. Actually, back then I didn't do that much animations. And I didn't do voices back then either. But then a year later, I came up with the name Sorterranean 30, which came from the words Sword and Subterranean. And I just splattered the number 30 at the end. But then a few months later, I thought 40 would be a better number. And that became my official YouTube name. Although I wasn't even on YouTube back then. Then I decided to start YouTube around 2011. Then I thought, make a video that's sort of random, but not too random, but random. And soon enough, they became a thing. Most of the stuff I do on my second channel actually started on my main channel. Epic Name Insulting, Unnecessary Censorship, If Pokemon Talked, and Same Sound Compilation have all started on my main channel. And there's this former series I used to do called Sorting's Action Replay, and it's actually pretty stupid, actually. It's just this video series where I comment on fight scenes from anything, literally anything. And I started off with some Disney sitcoms, because I ended up watching them. And if there was a fight scene there, I decided to make a video of it and comment on them, and then add sound effects. And I think I sort of picked up the idea from Wipeout, if you remember that show. It's all because they had sound effects on the show. Unnecessary censorship I obviously got from Jimmy Kimmel. Epic Name Insulting was inspired off a video called The 100 Greatest Movie Insults of All Time, uploaded by HH1 Edits, if I'm saying the name right. That video was an inspiration to Epic Name Insulting. I just collect a bunch of insults, name calling, and even phrases that you use you look like, where'd you get that, your mother is so fat, anything like that. And then same sound compilation, um, I just decided to do when, um, I noticed that The Amazing World of Gumball sometimes recycled the same voices. Then if Pokemon talked, has pretty much been an idea longer than the other things I mentioned. See, I started off playing, um, Pokemon Coliseum and XD. I decided, what if they said stuff? What if they said the names of their moves? And I think I got this idea kind of before Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was even a thing. Or maybe before I was even aware of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And then with Sword 24 of the series, just thought, I should have an animated series starring this character who has my voice and has a name similar to my channel. And I decided to make Sword an Owl. I haven't really confirmed what kind of owl he is yet, but I hope to confirm what kind of owl he is eventually in the series. Then I just added a bunch of other characters in there that are also animals. Yeah, so that's my brief story of how I made Star Training 40. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for all the comments. And if you somehow enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. And thank you for watching this Reading Your Comments video. This has been Reading Your Comments. Be seeing ya! Star Training 40!